Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. This week I'm going to unbox and review this Warhammer World exclusive box set of tanks. Apparently it now includes exclusive transfer sheet. It's £75 for two. Normally a Land Raider is 45 Normally a Rhino is 20 So that's 65 So for an extra 10 quid, you're basically getting your your grav cannon and some extra kind of iconography and for the rhino for the extra 10 quid basically you're getting oh yeah you're getting different doors and for the rhino you're getting this dude with the plasma guns different doors and a whole kind of satellite array type of thing would have been nice if they had some guards for the tracks or something like that but hey there we go so i think all in all it's not too bad a price um, just on face value um, but yeah if you're trying to get this online you can't because it's only available at the Warhammer World in Nottingham, which is where their HQ is. But like I've said in one of my other videos, I'll probably be going there again uh, later on in the year. So if you do want me to pick up you a box of these, I'm more than happy to. You obviously just have to pay me first and then I'm, I'm happy to obviously collect it for you. So this is the back of the box. You can have the guy with the helmet just to make you aware. And then the rhino and you've got the rules in there as well and the guy the rules are pretty pretty damn awesome um, for, for these vehicles okay so let's have a little look so oh wow you get this really nice color thing here look at that oh, that's pretty decent looks like it's painted uh, really nice gives you a little bit about the command tanks <clears throat> wow, it gives you the data sheets too. So you've got the Land Raider Excelsior and the Rhino Primaris. Basically get an orbital array. Anyone with one friendly unit within 12 inches of the Land Raider can choose one of the following to, to apply. Counterattack, Fearless, Hit and Run, Interceptor, Preferred Enemies, Skyfire, Splitfire or Tank Hunters. That sounds very, very nice. Yeah, really nice. 400 points for the pair. You get some... Wow, very nice. This is how construction guides should be should be made. This is incredible. Really nice instruction guide. Build guide. I'm looking forward to building them and uh, bringing you them. Well, you'll see them constructed in the, the second half of this video, of course. So you get your standard Land Raider crew, it looks like. Doesn't look like anything's changed there. Your standard Rhino. You get these, which are your standard upgrade kits. The other part of your Rhino. 1999 Land Raider, still going strong 17 years later. And I remember the release of this Land Raider as well, so it takes me back a bit. So more Land Raider action. And again, more Land Raider action. More Land Raider. Get transfer sheet. You get the Command Rhino and Land Raider transfer sheet. So this is the new thing that they've included. I like those uh, Imperial Eagles. I might actually use them on Titans. So you've got your Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Space Wolves and your Ultramarines. No Imperial Fists, no love for them, but there you go. And then you get two vehicle transfer sheets, both the same. And then you get this. This is the, the main thing. This is the extra 10 quid right here. So as you can see, you've got different Rhino doors there. Really nicely detailed. So as you can see, it's 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 one of their new sprues. It says 2014. Got nice flags and eagles. Um, it's all packed together. I like the the actual, that is even holding a plasma gun, combi plasma, nice chest piece, grav cannon, grav amp. Completely different top there, and the, the satellite array, plasma guns, again a different chest piece, different pieces, you've got a, a servo skull there, you've got the heads, different heads it seems, really nice writing on both sides look, so you can choose either, either or. I think I'll probably have the Eagles, but um, yeah, and then the sides as well. Yeah, that's the main kind of upgrade sprue that you'll be using. Right, so join me in part two where you'll see the both of the tanks uh, completely built. 
See you in a moment. And welcome to part two. I've built both of the tanks. Here's the Rhino Primaris. Let's have a look at the tank itself. Probably zoom in a bit more. What I've done is I've just built it like it is on the box, like it is in the instructions. This guy's just loose because it's going to be easy for me to get in there and, and paint his face and things rather than if he's there. And also, I might just keep him loose because and he can rotate pretty much all all the way almost just for sort of setting scenes up really and setting battle reports up might have him firing over there if there's some enemies over there who knows i haven't really thought about doing that and i don't think i have any or many tanks where that i've got uh, one of the crew that's jumping out of it in case you're wondering yeah it's a it's a twin link plasma gun i think that's pretty pretty hefty for a little rhino to have um i love the the difference in the armor plates i love this uh instead of the door you've got this and the same there it would be cool if they had something on that that side too but there you go i love this bigger sort of satellite dish array thing i love this um servo skull hub you got your different servo skulls there's four of them um and they all do you know different things let's just have a look at this uh antenna array sort of thing it's almost in the same kind of mold almost as the hunter anti-air tank that games workshop do and um, you can move the satellite dish up and down just really really nice and this is glued on i haven't taken it off but also i managed to complete win managed to glue the uh rhino door that, that opens if you can do that you can you can build any model in the world <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a win. So yeah, I've sort of kept that loose. There's no point in gluing it. I suppose there might have been a point in gluing him. But even though he's got that, you can still have a pintle mounted heavy bolter. I don't know how you'd do that. I mean, he'd have to be inside and you'd have to put the sort of handles on that and face them down and then put the pintle mounted storm bolter on there if you turn that upside down. It's an option, but I just wanted to build it just like it is on the box. Didn't want to mod modify it too much. So there you go, that's the Rhino Primaris. Lovely model. So I'll move that to one side. We've got to zoom out a little bit because I've also got the Land Raider Excelsior. Excelsior, sort of like um, sort of King Arthur times really, isn't it? Um, so this is just the Land Raider. It's your normal Land Raider kit, but it's with the this extra sprue um, that has all the extra Rhino gubbins on and it has the Land Raider gubbins. Again, it has one of these large uh, radar dishes. Pretty awesome. Uh, I've glued this guy into place like an idiot. Maybe it would have been easier if I didn't and then I could have picked him out and, and glued him. But I didn't glue this guy and look how awesome he is. Let's zoom in a little bit, shall we? Look at him. He's got his rod, rod of ceremonies or whatever it is. <laughs> He's pretty, pretty awesome, just chilling out there. Emperor knows how we managed to get out of out of this this area with his um in full sort of battle plate. I don't think he'll be jumping back down in into the tank. Uh, anytime soon in, in a quick fashion and then he's got this sort of like awesome thing I think that's part of the shield I might be wrong but if you don't know this sort of confers like a invulnerable save a bit like a mini void shield in a way and then you've got the extra bits of um, detail these two sort of sigil things and then you've got an extra fancy uh, name badge there and again another win I managed to build a land raider where the door opens and closes if you can do that, you can build any model in the in the collection. And then it's got this, instead of the twin-linked heavy bolter, you've got this grav cannon with a grav amp. That's just going to be beastie. You can't really take this Land Raider separate. You can't take the Rhino separate. You have to take them both as a pair. And it's worth doing because they sort of build on each other's sort of abilities and things. I might do a separate video once they're painted and things just to, just to explain that. But there's your grav cannon and grav amp. If that wasn't enough you've also got twin link last cannons which rotate and move up and down i always like these line radius because you fire the last cannons behind i think it's such a good design again same with the other side up and down and all the rest of it let's just look at the detail on the side so you so instead of the doors you've got this sort of fancy plate fancy plate there and a similar story that side you know, fancy sort of iconography. And you got these little uh, flags. They're going to be a joy to paint. I'm going to put gold on this as well. And that's sort of like the rear. Nothing out of the ordinary going on there. 
in terms of the engine. So yeah, it's pretty much just a new normal Land Raider and a normal Rhino, but with a with an upgrade sprue. And then on a little side note, I'll just show you the spare parts. You get a whole sprue, a whole sort of almost clean sprue, minus the hatch of vehicle extras, including the storm bolter, missile launcher, body, torso parts, heads. You get a whole one of them spare, and you also get, of course, the the, he the twin linked heavy bolters. You get the, the top hatches for the Rhino, because you don't use them. You get the doors for the Rhino. You get the doors for the Land Raider. You get this top bit for the Heavy Bolter. Uh, you also get this pretty cool thing for uh, the Land Raider. You get this uh, com Combi Plasma, which you could use on a normal Space Marine, and I will use that on, on one at some point. Um, and then you get some bits and bobs from the, the other sprue. You get a pointing arm, which is always fun. This other head, sorry, don't know if you can see that. That's a little bit different, isn't it? And you get some smoke launchers and things like that. So if I just move them into the shop, and there you go. That is all of your sort of spare parts if you make these um, as they are straight away. Like I said, it gives you the options of having a pin up mount storm bolt on the Rhino and a pin up mount storm bolt on the Land Raider. It says that in the rules, you can have dozer blade on the Rhino, things like that. Um, but I just built them as they were. Uh, they're command HQ tanks. I doubt I'll hardly ever use them in the game, but they're just something really nice to look at and part of the chapter command. Just makes sense that you've got one with a silly um, radar dish that looks a lot nicer than the Damocles, which the Damocles probably would be in the, in the command area too. I love them both. I think they're incredible and they're just going to look so awesome with my chapter as the chapter command. I'll have these guys and then I'll have, you know, like Garrow um, and I'll have a couple of other sort of unique um, HQs, special characters and things and heroes, things like that. And that will be the, the chapter command and then we're straight into the first company with their Terminator command squad and, and um, Terminator captain, things like that. So it's going to be incredible when I uh, show you that video, my, my chapter so far. They're easily worth the money I paid. I think they were £75 or so. And I'll probably do another video on them in the future. So thanks for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects. And you've got this Land Raider that's sort of like proper pimped out um, with, its, with its grav cannon.